So again, we uh, welcome you to the what is this? The third, <laughs> the third uh, resurrection program. As you know, we do it every or twice a year, once on the, the feast of the nativity and once on the feast of the resurrection. And we try to encourage the, the youth and the kids to learn about the hymns and the rites of the church, especially of the feasts uh, surrounding them. This year, God willing, we'll focus on the theme of um, the Apocalypse Night or the Bright Saturday. Uh, but before we do that, as you know, we also take the opportunity to give the just a small token of appreciation or a, a little blessing or a gift to the kids for uh, the resurrection. Um, so we'll start with the toddlers uh, and we'll just give them the gifts because there's, they're the only group that are not, <laughs> are not presenting uh, anything. So can we have the, the toddlers class, the angels class, come up and get a gift from His Grace? Just to let you know, we are live streaming and we are recording this on the YouTube and Facebook. Um, so the problem though is if any of the parents or adults stand up in the middle, we can't see the video. So if you, if you want to record or take pictures, please try to do it from your seat just so that and the video will be available, God willing, today as soon as we're done. So that way um, we don't have a picture of your back. <laughs> Are we ready for the the next class? Okay, we're ready to start now, so if we can have a quiet in the church, please. Shh, because you'll miss the kids. Our Lord Jesus Christ was crucified for our sake at Golgotha. He descended into Hades through the cross to free the souls of the righteous and just people of the Old Testament. We glorify the Lord who reveals his power and glory and immortality on the precious wood of the cross on Great and Holy Friday. In the book of Revelation, the heavenly and the earthly together praise God, giving blessing and glory and honor and power to the Holy Trinity. To remind us of this, at the twelfth hour of Good Friday and Bright Saturday, the church alternates the praise of both Tentigon between the altar and the whole church. This rite reminds us that the holy altar and the sanctuary reminds us of heaven, God's throne, while the church symbolizes the earth.
After the yeah. Matthew twenty seven fifty seven through sixty says, When evening had come there came a rich man from Aramea named Joseph, who himself had also became become a disciple of Jesus. This man went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate commanded the body to be given to him. When Joseph had taken the body, he wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his new tomb. Also, St. John writes, And Nicodemus, who at first came to Jesus by night, also came bringing a mixture of myrrh and alloys, about a hundred pounds. Then they took the body of Jesus and bound it in strips of linen with spices, as the custom of the Jews is to bury. John 19, 39 and 40. Although the body of the Lord Jesus was in the tomb for three days, this night is called that of the joyous Saturday. It is a night of transitioning from sadness to joy, from darkness to light, and from death to life. On, the, on this night, we witness God's sa salvation at work as he de departed into Hades to break our chains, thereby releasing us from the bondage of Satan. We cheer hymns that are both the fusion of mournful t and joyful tunes. This reminds us that although the Lord died on the cross and bodies laid in the tomb, he transfigured the souls of the righteous from Hades to Paradise and will rise again on the third day. The night of the apocalypse begins with the chanting of Psalm 151, which honors the work of God in the life of David the prophet. <laughs> As the Lord helped him overcome Goliath, the giant, and and save the Israels, Jesus Christ came to deliver us from Satan and help us overcome all of the temptations in this world.
of God. Although these prophets did not live to see the salvation, their great salvation <coughs> by the power of God. A general thing from the fish of the belly to the ark from the generation of death and the three holy youth who pay for the fire. In the prayer of the three holy youth who were cast into the fiery furnace, they moved from death to life for the Lord Christ was with them. So you're following the progress. I hope we started with Tetigom and we're doing Golgotha, and we ended Friday, and now we're starting Friday night, which is bright Saturday. Yeah. 
Psalm 66.10 says, We went through fire and through water, but you brought us out to rich fulfillment. As the Lord saved the three holy youths from fire, he also saved the Israelites from water. And, and Pharaoh, as they crossed the Red Sea and entered to rich fulfillment. This was the land of Canaan, the land of milk and honey, which remains us of the heavenly kingdom. from Jesus Christ. Many know St. John the Evangelist. He is one of the Lord's closest disciples and witnessed by many important miraculous events, such as the Holy Transfiguration. The Lord Jesus entrusted St. John to take care of the Holy Virgin St. Mary after his crucifixion. He wrote five books in the Holy Bible, one gospel, three Catholic epistles, and the book of Revelation. 
We also call it Bright Saturday, the night of the apocalypse, since the word apocalypse means revelation. This name is given to this night because it is the only night in which we read the book of Revelation in its entirety. Just before reading, the priests bring a dish with oil and light seven candles, which represent the seven lampstands in the book of Revelation. As the Lord of Revelation explains, this lampstand is symbolizing the seven churches. While the priests are preparing the dish of life, the congregation chants the same hymn that is sung when the clergy prepare their vestments and the altar for the divine liturgy. This hymn is called the Hymn of the Blessing. It starts with the word tunnel, O Semavio and Tepio Oini, where we worship the Father of Life. As we read the last book in the Holy Bible, we stop several times to chant hymns. For example, the conclusion of each of the seven messages to the seven churches are one and the same. On this special night, we praise God, seeking his mercy for he who has died has risen and grant, granted us salvation to those. We repeat the doxology hymn, Agios Sethanatos Nainan, which means, O holy immortal, one have mercy upon us. He Truly, death had no power over our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the life of the world. Through his resurrection, he abolished death and granted us eternal life. But now Christ has risen from the dead and has become the first fruits to those who have fallen asleep. 1 Corinthians 15.20 Let us find joy in the resurrection of our God and Savior. Let us give him joy over our resurrection from sin that we may live with our risen Lord.
everyone uh, that's basically the the, the whole uh, program we'd like to thank very much all of the kids and the parents who brought the kids for all the practices and all the servants who dedicate a lot of their time to teach um, the kids not only the hymns but the rites and and to encourage them to learn their lines because when they learn their lines they learn more about the church <clears throat> thank you everyone who participated thank you again Sayedna for uh, blessing us today um, and we hope more and more that everyone can grow in grace and knowledge and wisdom and understanding and love for the church and for the saints. Uh, we'll conclude with prayers just to let you know there's an Agabi meal upstairs for, for everyone. <laughs>